Hey guys, what's up? It's Diamante. I realized that I completely forgot to film a intro for this. If you are new here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, then welcome back. Please stay tuned if you guys want to see how I got the makeup look that you guys see in the thumbnail. Let's go ahead and open the collection so you guys can see what I have been sent. comes as a box within the box which is cool and so this is the box it comes in this is really cute it has oh snap it has poo on the details let me try to zoom in so you guys can see see it has poo and then it has like a bunch of flowers super cute the sides say fragile and then it says est in la which is really cute and so then this is what the inside of the box looks like it says i always enjoy a little something about now and it has poo in the flowers with some bees which is really nice so this is really like the pr experience yeah so it comes really nicely wrapped the one thing i will say about this is that i feel like it was a little bit haphazardly thrown in here even though everything is well wrapped the card is towards the bottom and normally for pr experiences the card sits right on top so it can be the first thing that you see when you open the box and it says time for a little smack roll and it has a little honey pot on it which is really cute here it says everything that it comes with so it says our yummiest collection ever delivers Winnie the Pooh's favorite sweet things. So it comes with the sweet as can be palette, just a taste of honey, Lux Gloss Trio, Super Shock Cheek, and Honey Pot Lip Scrub and Mask Duo. And then it has uh, multiples of some of the stuff that it comes with, just so you guys know. So like I said, everything comes very well wrapped. So I'm gonna, unwrap everything and show you guys the packaging and then i'll start actually opening everything up as i'm using it so here's the first thing that i have grabbed this is the sweet as can be palette it has poo on it really cute and then it has poo on the back with some butterflies and it has the name of the shades in little hexagon shapes which is supposed to be honeycomb-esque so this is what it looks like, really cute. The second thing that I have grabbed is one of the Super Shock Cheeks. This one is in the shade Silly Old Bear and it has Pooh's scenery on it and then it has Pooh and a little bee on the actual component itself, which you can see through because it has a little peekaboo moment. So this is what that looks like. It is the Honey Pot Lip Scrub Mask Duo, and it has poo on it. And then on the back, it says Hungry Bear Color Pop Lip Scrub and Yum 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 Fourth Ray Beauty Lip Mask. Just a taste of honey. And this is the Lux Gloss Trio. And this is what the box looks like. I love when poo kind of just looks really curious on any illustration or cartoon that he's on and then the back of this has the names of all the lip glosses and some of the names here are clover honey wildflower honey and dandelion honey and they're all really warm shades which i'm kind of looking forward to just because the last collection that i got it did not have very neutral shades. I still actually haven't even posted that video yet just because some of the footage got damaged. If you guys do want to see it, let me know and I will be happy to go back and change some of the footage and then post it. But by the time I post it, I think that the collection won't be relevant anymore but I can post it if you guys actually want to see it. This is the next item. So this is another Super Shock Cheek. And same thing, it has the poo with the wildflowers and the butterflies. And it says 100 Acre Wood. My favorite thing about this collection that I've already noticed so far is that I feel like ColourPop really did their research and they spelled everything how Pooh would spell it, which is 
not spelled correctly, which I think is really cute and it's very true to who Ku is. And then the next one is another super shock cheek. This one is in the shade Mind Over Matter, which is another thing that Pooh says all the time, which is really cute. I haven't decided which one of those I'm going to use for whatever look I decide to do, but now you know that they're there. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use that little lip scrub. So that way my lips can start getting moisturized and being prepped for the gloss. Oh my god so i was like looking forward to this i had seen that on trend mood they had like the little i don't know what they're called they're kind of like honey wands let me actually see what they're called because i want to be correct on that yeah so it is actually called a honey wand sometimes it's referred to as a honey spoon or a honey dipper and these are what the little packages look like. They're little legit honey pots, which is so cute. This one is the lip mask. They're both so cute. I am dying over this packaging. ColourPop really popped off with these. Let me show you the little honey ones because you're going to die. This is what they look like. They look like legit honey wands, which is insane. And look how cute this looks together. Like I'm losing my mind over it. It's so cute. It's so detailed. I'm gonna go in with the little lip scrub. This is in the scent or shade Hungry Bear. I like how you can also tell the difference between the lip scrub and the lip mask by the translucentness of the tops like this one is clear and this one is like a solid which is really nice so let's go in with that it really tastes like honey it's absolutely crazy i actually also really like these little honey wands i think that this is something that ColourPop should keep doing for their future collections like having something where you can dip in instead of using your finger so that it's more sanitary and then i also just feel like it completely elevates the experience of having a lip scrub and a lip mask the lips definitely feel scrubbed for sure so now i think we're gonna open up the palette which should be good as you guys know i'm gonna be using my little vanity so i can get a closer look while i'm doing the makeup all right so this is what the component looks like it matches what the box looks like which is nice that means you can just throw out the box if you want to do that so this is what the inside looks like it says little things are beautiful too flowers are such friendly things and then this is what the shades look like so i'll go left to right top to bottom the first shade is called smackaroo the next shade is called think 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 the third shade is called honey tree next the shade is called sing ho the next one is called make believe the next one is called Pooh Bear. The next one is called Oh Bother. Then we have Best Friends. Then we have Rumbly. And then we have In My Tumbly, which is so cute. I haven't decided what shades I'm gonna use because they're all really pretty and they're definitely all spring shades. I see a lot of people using the greens, not enough people using the pinks. Okay, oh, also if you guys couldn't see, my shirt is Winnie the Pooh. And if you guys didn't know, in this house, I am a Piglet stan and Lou is a Pooh stan. So that's why this collection is super special to us just because I have like such a strong sense of nostalgia with the collection. I grew up watching Winnie the Pooh and I had a whole bunch of them on VHS and that's why I was like, I have to get this collection. I'm going to prime my eyes and then I'll come right back. I'm back, I've primed my eyes. So I do think I'm gonna go down the pink slash neutral route, but I will add some fun colors in there just so that way I can use as many of the shades as possible. Oof. I don't know what color I'm gonna use first. I think I'm gonna go in with the color Think, think, think. Just because I think it'll be a cute transition shade moment. All right, 
I like it. I can already tell you this one is definitely way better than the other collection that I was going to post up which if you guys didn't know what collection that was it's actually the Avatar The Last Airbender X Colourpop collection so like I said if you guys want to see it still comment down below like I said by the time I post it it's not going to be relevant anymore but if you guys want to know my thoughts I will go ahead and post it so this is like a really nice yellow shade, which I am definitely a fan of. And by the way, I went in with my JH35, if you guys are wondering. Now I'm gonna go in with my JH32, and I'm gonna go in with that shade Smackaroo and see what happens. Like I said, I wouldn't be me if I didn't tell you guys that there is a little bit of kickback on these. And that is something that I have been noticing with the ColourPop collections that I've been purchasing is that there is a little bit of kickback. My suggestion is if this is something that you hate, do your eyes first or if not, you can always um, bake under your eyes while you're doing your makeup and then you can just wipe it away afterwards. But that is what I have been noticing recently and i'm not sure if this is like something that's common with the collab formulas because i haven't had this problem with my bare necessities palette that i have by ColourPop, but with these for sure i have been noticing a ton of kickback which is normal with a lot of pressed pigments but it is something that i like to tell people because there are some people who don't like that and will not purchase a palette if that is the case I definitely like this shade Smackaroo. It's a really cute transition shade. It has like a little bit of glitter in it, so it definitely gives you like a little bit of something in the palette and like on your look if you just want like something neutral but something that still pops a little bit, that's definitely the way to go. I'm gonna go in with my JH33 in the shade Best Friends and we'll see what happens. This, this one has a ton of kickback. This one is kind of like that brown shade, but it looks like it has green reflex in it, which is kind of cool. So let's see. It is a really nice brown too. The brown looks really nice. I actually really like the brown, but you guys know I love a good neutral shade. It's so glittery too, which is nice. I'm going to wet my brush. I'm gonna go in with that shade. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna go in with that shade Rumbly. Okay, so this is kind of what it's looking like so far. I think I'm gonna go back in with my finger to try to make it pop as much as possible. I do actually think I'm going to go in with that shade Oh Bother with my finger and I'm gonna give it a little something else. I feel like it needs a little something. I'm not sure what, but yeah. I think this helped a little bit kind of tie it together. This is just Oh Bother in the middle. If you guys are wondering, I do really have so many shades on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back in with Smackaroo in the crease. Also, don't mind Chico, he's making himself comfortable. A bit just to kind of blend it out. Puppy cam in case you guys are wondering. I am going to do my face makeup off camera and then I will be right back. I'm back, foundation is on and so is my concealer. So now I'm gonna go in with a shade on the bottom lash line and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go in with the JH39 in the shade Sing Ho, just because I'm gonna try to buff it out and make it as green as possible. 
so same thing here this is actually a really nice screen i've been seeing a ton of girls using it on youtube for their looks i actually really love this shade of green and i feel like green is really trendy this spring it is actually a really really nice Color. You could even use this olivey green shade for like a fall look too. Now I'm gonna go way closer to the lash line and I'm going to use that shade Honey Tree. Same thing, right in the waterline. This one's gonna be way closer just so that way I kind of have like a little bit of a gradient effect in there. The only thing is I feel like this one is not really showing. Oof, here we go. It's actually really nice. I think it actually really accentuates the shade. I just had to like really get in there, I guess. Controversial to most people's opinions. I don't think it looks that bad, so I'm just gonna keep it as is, but I am going to do the rest of my face makeup off camera and then I will come right back. I am back. So I have to say I really feel like the lip mask or I guess like the lip scrub is really good. It kind of dissolves. So I have a feeling that it is a sugar mask. I do want to move on to the lip mask though so that way I can give you guys my opinion on both of those. And then same thing, I'm going to use the little honey one that comes here. Now that I've taken off the lip scrub, my lips definitely feel nice and smooth, but I am gonna put on the little lip mask just so we can get the full moment. It has a really nice consistency as well. And I think these are both fourth ray beauty, so I'm not surprised because they're really good quality. Same thing, these both tastes like honey they're amazing i have to choose what highlight i'm going to use so i'm a little bit nervous about that <laughs> these look pretty similar now that i see them in the viewfinder they're actually really not that similar but i think i'm going to go in with shade cellulose bear the lip mask does feel very moisturizing if anybody is wondering oh before I do that, I am actually going to use a shade in my inner corner. I'm gonna go in with my JH42. Same thing, I'm gonna just wet the brush really quick. I'm gonna use the shade Make Believe on the inner corner. She's cute, she's nice and yellow for sure. Okay, now I'm going to go in with that shade. Silly Old Bear on my JH09. You guys know the drill. It is a really, really nice shade. It shows up really well on the viewfinder as well. You guys know I love a good nose highlight. And same thing, I'm just going in on my cupid's bow. This shows up a ton, which is nice. I think <laughs> it's giving glazed donut, but I think you guys could definitely use this as like a summer shade. There's just something about a hopping summer highlight that I love. I know that's not really the vibe anymore because everybody wants to do the clean girl look, but that is definitely my vibe for sure. I still love a nice, bold highlight give me all the glitter give me all the glazed donut vibes i love it so i'm actually gonna go in with a lip liner because i can't just not go in with a lip liner for one of these lip glosses and then i'll come right back i'm back i went in with a really really neutral shade i went in with my kkw beauty lip liner in nude 0.5 if anybody is wondering and now I'm going to go in with one of those lip glosses. I think I know which one I'm gonna use. I'm very excited. Oh, this is so cute. It slides out. I love that because it keeps everything together. And the inside box has that same box print as the PR box that it came in. So it has 
those little poo prints, which is really cute. And I think I'm going to use this shade right here, just cause there's a lot going on with the colors. So this is the shade Clover Honey and it's that very nude shade. This is definitely something I would put in my purse too. I love the applicator that it comes with. This one doesn't taste like honey, but it does taste really sweet. Overall, a really cute shade. It's super clear, which is nice. It's what I was expecting. And it, the consistency of it feels really nice as well. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm gonna put just a little hint of Silly Old Bear inside my inner corner, so that way it kind of all matches. All right, I'm gonna do brows off camera and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts. All right guys, final thoughts. So I do have to say that I love this collection. Like everything in the collection was so cute. Like the little honey pots were really cute. All the highlighters were really cute. The palette was really cute. And I loved, loved, loved these lip glosses, I definitely think it's something that I will for sure have in my purse, This, especially this summer. I think it's a great collection for spring and summer. There wasn't one thing that I didn't like about the collection. Like I said, there was just like a little bit of kickback with some of the shades, but like I said, it seems that it's something that I see a ton in the collection, like collabs but not so much in the normal color pop palettes. So that's just something to keep in mind. But yeah, the one thing I will say is that there was like a difference between getting just the entire collection and getting the PR collection. The collection that I received was the PR collection. In my opinion, the difference was just like a couple bucks, but I just didn't feel like it was worth it for me to just pay for a box that I'm gonna wind up throwing out, not like a keepsake box that I can just hold on to and store my makeup in forever. And the card, I can't really see myself justifying the price for that to be quite honest. But in the future, if they do release something that is storable that I can have, I would invest in that. But yeah, in the future, I will probably just get the entire collection of something if it's something that I really enjoy and not the PR kit unless in the future, you know, if ColourPop decides to ever send me PR, which ColourPop, if you're watching, send me stuff. I love you guys most of the time, so I would absolutely love to do a review for you guys. That is my opinion on everything. But yeah, if you guys liked this video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, it's free and it helps me out a ton. It motivates me to keep going. And yeah, let me know if there's any other collections that you guys would like to see me do. Please make sure you guys sound off in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.